Hey, what's up guys? So in this video, I'm going to talk to you guys about overcoming challenges that are definitely going to come up uh, while you're on your journey to, uh, to transformation. So obviously, if you've seen any of my other videos, you know that to go from where you are now to where you want to be, you're going to go on a little journey. You're going to go on a journey of transformation because in order to go from having zero money to let's say a million, you have to change. You as a person, you as a character, so if you're, let's say, if you're lazy, if you procrastinate, if you have those types of qualities in you here, so let's say lazy, uh, procrastinate, um, let's look at, I'm just going to call it weak skin, okay, if you have those type of character traits, that's why you're getting the results you're getting right now. Because over here is someone who's making a million dollars a year. At some point, making, making a million dollars is not luck. There's no such thing as luck when it comes into doing big, big things with your life. It is practicing things every single day. So someone who's making a million dollars a year is taking action. Okay, they're confident in what they're doing. Okay, they're a master at what they're doing. Okay, so in order for you to go from where you are now to where you want to be, you're going to have to change your character traits. You're going to have to find out what are some of the blocks, so what are some of the roadblocks in my road on my journey to go from zero to hero. So you've got to figure out what they are, and then you've got to start practicing these things. So just like in some of my other videos, being lazy is a practice. It takes, it takes effort to be lazy. And it takes the same, it takes effort to take action. You know, I just uh, I just saw this kind of meme that I posted up on one of my uh, one of my outlets, and it says that being broke is hard, and getting rich is hard. So choose your heart. Either way, it's going to be hard. Being broke is hard. I would never want to be broke. That's way harder than anything I do. But for me. When I was here, I was definitely, I wasn't confident, I was insecure, I was scared, you know, I thought poorly of myself. Till today, I know I'm confident, I know what I'm doing, and I know that what I'm doing is getting results. I'm a master, 10,000 hours, I have 10, 000, thousands of hours in sales training, okay, training other people, training myself, uh, time on the phone time in front of people, thousands and thousands of hours in order to go from where I was, a novice, having no experience to where I am. But here's the thing, on this journey, you're going to meet challenges. People, so people who you love, your family, your spouse, they're going to be people who are going to, they're going to try to keep you comfortable. They're going to try to keep you where you are because where you are makes them comfortable. So I'm just going to use myself as an example. Back in 2006, if you know anything about my story, I, I, took, I, I went on a completely new road. I had a very comfortable life as a mechanic, and I made pretty comfortable money, but my, my awareness expanded, my desire ignited, okay? And I, I changed. I changed 180 degrees, and my family was like, Whoa, who are you? You're crazy. My dad literally called me a schizophrenic. He's, you're crazy, man. This path that you're on, you are nuts. But I didn't care what they said. I just kept on trucking, kept on pursuing my goals and my dream because they're mine. He's got his, they've got theirs. This is mine. I know that what the mind can conceive of and believe, it can achieve. So my goals are huge. So I'm telling you, there are many, many challenges. Okay, I've been in... Uh, I've been a business owner all my life, but in 2006, when I went out on my own, I started starting up new startups and businesses, and I've lost countless, countless money on different ventures that didn't go the way that I wanted them to. That's a challenge. That's a challenge. And I've come to maybe the maturity that when those obstacles happen to me, that I don't allow them to affect me anymore. I'm outside, I'm looking outside, I'm playing the game outside of the player. I don't get emotionally caught up in the challenges, in the experiences, where someone over here, they're going to get emotionally, when you're brand new on the trail and you're making transformations, you want to change your body, or you want to change your, uh, your, your money situation, you want to change your relationships, 
you're going to have to get out of your comfort zone. Okay? You're going to have to start moving forward. And you're going to come across a lot of obstacles in the way, but those obstacles aren't a bad thing. Just like a couple videos ago, if we take the thing, if we take the challenge on and we look at it from the viewpoint of what can I learn from this experience and how can I use this experience to make me better on my journey, to make me stronger, to make me more confident, okay, to make me take more action, what can I learn from it? So on this side, you're learning those skills. So, big key here, what to do, how can you, how can you start taking this, this lesson right now and start applying it to your life right now? Because many of you that are watching this video might have challenges in your life right now. You might be a single mother or a single father. You might have overbearing parents or overbearing spouse that's, that's trying to suppress your dreams. Well, here's what I'm here to tell you, friends, is push through that. Don't let go of your dream. Do whatever it's going to take. Have the attitude that I'm, I'm willing to do whatever it takes to make my dream come true as long as I believe in that dream. Because other people might not believe in your dream, but as long as you do and you never let go of that dream, you can make it. You can make it. What happens though is people, they get a dream and they start on this journey and they hit an obstacle. And they might break through that obstacle. Okay? And then they might hit another obstacle. And they break through that one. But then they get right here. And they've been just bombarded with these obstacles. And they've overcome some. They've overcome them all. They've gotten to this point. And that one last one, that one final test from life, has them give up. Has them give up. So another thing is persistence. Be persistent. The only difference that, I mean, I shouldn't say the difference, but the time from going from here to here is in you. And how quickly can you let go of these character traits and how quickly can you practice and make these character traits a part of your character? Okay? Remember, you'll never get rich feeling poor. So in order to get rich, I'm just using money as an example, because we all want more of it. In order to become a millionaire, you have to start embracing and you start have to exercise that emotion called wealth. As soon as you start practicing that emotion and you make it a consistent practice, and you get so good at creating that emotion of wealth and freedom and independence, once you have internalized that emotion and made it a part of your character, I, hear, I, I guarantee you that money will just flow into your life like you've never had before. So start practicing that. Start taking the challenges in your life as positive experiences that are here to teach you and to help you build your character on your journey to your dreams. So, I hope you like this video. I appreciate you watching my videos and supporting this movement. I look forward to dropping many more videos in the future for you. Hope you have a great weekend. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great night.